Okay, so 6.10, writing an equation of a circle. So let's see what it looks like on there. I know your picture is kind of small, so maybe kind of pay attention to mine. Maybe use a red pen to write on yours so it stands out a little bit more, okay? But when we look at a circle on a graph, okay, we're going to relate it to, believe it or not, Pythagorean theorem, okay? So let's focus on that red triangle. So can you outline that triangle in your red pen? Okay, so we have that red triangle there okay this radius however okay, this radius has a length of five okay it's five there five there and five all the way there so that means this right here is a radius that is also five okay now when i draw this radius going like this okay so um, radius is five, so you're gonna see five everywhere. Now, when we focus on drawing it right here with that right triangle, we're gonna draw, obviously, the two legs, okay? We don't know how big this distance is right here, so look what they called it. They called it X amount of units, okay? So draw that as X. We don't know how much this distance is right here, so we're gonna call that Y amount of units. Okay, so label that correctly. So therefore, this coordinate right here is x comma y. Okay, it's some random point. Okay, some crazy decimal between three and four. Okay. However, we're going to use this right triangle, and like I said a second ago, relate it to Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So if this is a leg and this is a leg, to to you know relate that to Pythagorean theorem, we're going to do x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. And that right there is the basis of just writing an equation of a circle. It's related to that, okay? So we use these three coordinates right here, 0, 0, 0, x, and x, oops, wrong way. That should be x comma 0. And um, x comma y to form that right triangle and we just labeled the sides, these variables, and that's the basic form of an equation, okay? And it all comes from Pythagorean theorem. So looking at that again, so um, highlight this part right here because these are going to be the main ways you uh, write the equation. The equation of a circle centered at the origin, okay? Only if it's centered at the origin, like the main example that I just went over, okay? of a coordinate plane is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That's the one we just kind of wrote out the exact same way, except in that case we put 5 in, in place of the r, but r stands for the radius, okay? That's the most basic way to write out that equation, okay? So just like that. And then what if the circle is not centered at the origin? Here's what you're going to do. For any circle that is not at the origin, then its location of its center, we're going to call h comma k. Okay, so fill that in. It's going to be h comma k. So it's going to be at some other random point. If that's the case, you take those two numbers, wherever it's centered at, and this is what the form of the equations are now going to look like. It's going to look very close to the other one, except you have to involve the h and the k. So it's going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And that's going to still equal r squared. And you just follow that formula right there to write out these two equations of circles. Okay? So let's do some examples together, and then you'll get the easy hang of it. Okay? All right. So what is, the, what is the center and the radius of the circle, okay? So this is in the form of x squared plus y squared equals 49, okay? Do you see an, like a number, like a minus a number and then minus another number here? No. So that was that first one that we had talked about. So where is it centered at, Joe, if the equation is going to look like this? Where's the center going to be? Where? At the origin. Very good. So the origin is at 0, 0. So that's the center. Everybody write down the center. 
you can put C equals zero zero if you want instead of writing out the word center. Okay, and then what was the form of the equation right there? R squared. So what's R, everybody? The radius. Seven, right? You take the square root of 49, which is equal to that. Okay? Easy peasy, right? Okay, now the next one, that looks like the form of the other one, right? So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to write down the form of the equation right next to it. It was x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Okay, so this finding this center is going to be just a little bit different, okay? The center is more difficult on this one, okay? But not super difficult. So, Knowlton, what do you think the center is? Negative 5, 10. How do you all think he came up with negative 5? Right. So this right here, when it becomes a positive right there, isn't that the same thing as minus a negative? Right. So you need to focus on that form right there because negative 5 is the actual h value. Okay? So that's the actual h value, negative 5. So I'm kind of glad he said negative 5 rather than 5. And then this one is the perfect form because it looks exactly like that, right? So it's just 10. So does everybody see why it's negative 5, 10? Yeah? Okay, now R. R is a little bit different. Okay, what do I have to do to the 18, everybody? Yep, I have to square root the 18. Now, you have to think to yourself, can you simplify that? Do you remember how to simplify radicals from way back? Yep, draw the little tree. Which two numbers? 2 and 9. 3 is a per, uh, square root of 9. Underline the 2. So the radius is 3 radical 2. Okay, if you wanted to get an estimate of that, can somebody punch in three radical two for me? What is that? All right, we'll stop right there. And so that more or less is the size of the radius. Okay, so a little bit smaller circle than the, the one that we started with. Okay, all right, so that's it. That's all you got to focus on is how is the form of the equation done? Okay, let's take a look at this one. This one, they give me a picture of a circle. Okay, so you want to focus on two things, guys, always, the center and the radius. Where is the center and where? what is the radius? If you know those two things, then you can write the equation pretty easily. So where's the center at, everybody? Zero, zero. What's the radius, everybody? Two. So give me the entire equation. Read. What do you think the equation is? Yes, which is 4. I'm going to just write that as a 4. Good. That's it. Remember, anytime it's at 0, 0, your equation just is simply x squared plus y squared. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Notice this one is not at the origin. Okay, so you probably want to write that down. What's that coordinate, everybody? Very good. And you don't want to mess up the positive and negative signs. Okay, Bryson, what do you think the equation is for this one? Very good. That's correct. Okay. Notice he said plus two. Now, if you want to write it as minus a negative, I'll still mark that right. But usually you, you know, you put that minus negative. Okay. Everybody understanding this? Yeah. Okay. Let's try something different. This one, I just straight up give you the center and give you the radius. That should, one should be pretty easy. So, um, uh, Takumi, what's the equation of this one on the left? The center is at zero, zero, and the radius is nine. Very good. Okay. On the next one, the center is at negative three, four, and the radius is one half. Uh, Gabby, what do you think that equation is? Equals. Yes, very good. Okay, one half squared, a lot of people think is one because they're just dividing it by two. So I'm glad she said straight up one fourth. Okay, 
So very good. So you take the radius and you always square it. So that's like the same thing as one half times one half, which is indeed one fourth. And if you write it as 0.25, that's the same thing. Okay. All right. Let's try one last one. And then you have the rest of the time to work on the assignment. So this one's a little tougher. So this one's going to really have you think outside the box. So it says write the equations of the circles that is tangent to the line x equals 12. Y equal the lines, it should be plural, y equals negative 13 and x equals 25. Hmm. Do y'all even have a visual of what this looks like? You do? You have these lines. Do you know how to the line x equals 12 looks? What kind of line is x equals 12, everybody? Vertical. Good job. A lot of people forget that. What kind of line is y equals negative 13? Horizontal, good. So me being a very visual person, I would probably wanna draw this out, okay? So I'm going to draw over here off to the side an X and Y axis. And then I'm gonna estimate where these lines are. So X equals 12 and X equals 25. Actually, I'm gonna move my x-axis over. Let me delete that. Because I'm more so on the right side of the Okay, so I'm going to draw it like that. And actually, y equals negative 13. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Okay. Alright, so there's my x and y axis. Okay. Because I like to have a visual. And I'm going to draw these vertical lines, 12 and 25. So let's just pretend 12 is here. I have a vertical line there. Let's say 25 is here. Okay, those are two vertical lines, x equals 12, x equals 25. And then I have a horizontal line going through negative 13. So we'll just say right here. Okay, not drawing the scale at all. I'm just kind of estimating. Okay, so this line is at negative 13, this line is at 12, and this line is at 25. So you should probably kind of imagine already that a circle is going to look something like this if it's tangent to it, right? Yeah. Now, can it be somewhere else as well? Yeah, it can. Let me move this over because I don't like that watermark. Where else can it be? It can be down here at the bottom, right? Somewhere down there. The center is somewhere right here. The center is somewhere right there. Again, I don't know if it's drawn to scale. It could be above or below the x-axis. I don't know. Okay? But does everybody have an idea now, a visual of what this looks like? Okay, so I'm going to write an equation for this green one, and I need to write an equation for the blue one. Let's start with the green first. Any ideas of what this radius could be? What is it, Gabby? Very good. So does everybody see how that's 6.5 and 6.5? Because they got to be the same, right? So good. We've got our radius. Now we need the what? The center. So what? Where is the center? What can we do with that six and a half and the 12? Add them, very good. So what is this number right here that it's at? 18.5, everybody see that? Yeah? Does everybody see why it's 18.5? If not, raise your hand so I can go over it. So this distance right here is six and a half. So imagine if that's 12, I'm gonna go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's it. Just add six and a half to the 12, okay? All right, so we know that's the x-coordinate. What's this y-coordinate right here? What do I do? All right, very good. Use that negative 13 to figure out what that is right there. It is negative 6.5, okay? So clearly I did not draw my graph to scale because it would be looking about halfway. So ignore the way I drew my graph, but you got to just do that subtracting, okay? Because this is 6.5, so you want to go up 6.5. All right, so there's my center right there, okay? So my center is using that 18.5 and, and that negative 6.5. So I'm going to just write it down here. The center is um, 
negative, nope, not negative, positive 18.5 comma negative 6.5. And then you just said the radius is 6.5. Okay, so if you have those two pieces, then you can write the equation. Venusia, what's my equation for the green circle? Can you tell me what 6.5 squared is? Thank you. All right. Okay, and then this blue one, this blue one, a little bit different. So what's the center? How further down does it go? Another what? Is the radius the same? Absolutely. So it goes down 6.5. So where is this at now on the y-axis in terms of the y? Negative 19.5. Is it still at the same x coordinate? Absolutely. So my center for this one is still 18.5, comma, negative 19.5. Does everybody see that? Everybody understand how to get that center? Okay. And we said the radius is still the same of 6.5. So, Zoe, what's my final equation for the blue one? Very good. All right. And that is it.